Okay, this is going to be a video to help you out with student learning task three, finding values of sine using the symmetry of a unit circle. So there are a couple things I want to remember from our lesson today. And the first is that sine of theta is equal to y over r. I also want to remember that x squared plus y squared equals r squared, which is like the Pythagorean theorem, and not really needed for this homework, but just goes with the set of facts. Cosine of theta is equal to x over r. Now, the first thing I want to notice in this homework assignment is that I've got a point here at 1, 0. And 1, 0 tells me that the radius of my circle, and thus this hypotenuse, is 1. Okay, now that same thing is true for this angle here that says uh, 65 degrees. It also has a radius of 1, so I'm going to mark its hypotenuse. Now, the one thing I notice is this is 25 degrees. This is 90 degrees. And in order for all these angles to add up to 180, this has to be 65 degrees. I know that the length here is 0.91. So I know that the height of this triangle is also 0.91 because that's opposite the 65 is 0.91, just like opposite the 65 over here is 0.91. This one is going to be 0.91. Opposite the 25 degree angle in this triangle is 0.42. So opposite this 25 degree angle will be 0.42. So now I know that this ordered pair is 0.42. 0.91. So I'm going to just take a quick look and see if I have any requests with 25 and 65. And I see right here I've got a request for sine of 25 degrees. And I'm going to refer back to y over r. y value for 25 degrees is 0.42. The radius is 1. So 0.42 divided by 1 is just 0.42. And right under that, I see sine of 65 degrees. So I think about my 65 degree triangle, y over r. So 0.91 divided by 1 is just 0.91. Okay, so continuing on page 25, I see that my top row here, these are all my quadrantal angles. I call them quadrantal angles because 0 degrees falls here. 90 degrees falls here, 180, and 270. And even though I can't draw triangles at these angles, I can, or I can still use y over r. Think about it. At 0 degrees, what's the y value? 0. 0 divided by 1 is just 0. At 90 degrees, I have the point. Again, my radius is 1. I'm going right and left 0 and up 1, so y over r, again 0 and just go up 1, so 0, 1, y over r will be 1 divided by 1 is just 1. So we'll just finish up these quadrantals. Sine of 180, if I look here, I've got negative 1, 0, so y over r will be 0 over 1. And then for 270, down here it's 0, negative 1. And then y over r is just negative 1. Okay, so we took care of the acute angles and we took care of the quadrantal angles. Now we have these six obtuse angles to work with. So I want to look at 115. And I want to realize that 115 falls in the second quadrant. So 115, I have an empty second quadrant here. So 115, and again, I, you can really draw these anyways just to show like, so they're accurate. I know that 115 would be 90. So if I start at standard position, 90 plus 25 would give me 115. So here's my angle of 115 degrees. And my reference angle for 115 degrees, if I draw up, down to the x-axis, this little angle here, 180 minus 115 will be 65 degrees. Now I can use the symmetry because I already know that 65 over here was 0 0.42, 0 0.91. I know this will be negative 0 0.42, comma, 0 0.91. 
And so now I know that the sine of 115 is 0.91 over 1. So now 155 is also in the second quadrant. So I'm going to use the second quadrant because that one's getting crowded. So 90. This would be 180. So let's see. 155 is going to be like 25. I'm going to have a reference angle. It's going to go like here. Here's my... 115 it's got or sorry 155 so then this would be 25 so that the whole first and second quadrant add up to 180 and again I'm just going to use the symmetry so this is going to be negative 0 0.91 comma 0 0.42 so 155 has a sign value of 0 0.42 over 1 okay 2 O5 falls in the third quadrant. I will use, doesn't like it really makes Zippo difference which picture you use. Just so I don't have to keep sliding the paper around. I'm gonna use this one. So 205. So this would be 180. And then 180 plus an additional 25 would make 205. So here's 205. So this is 180, and then my reference angle is 25 because that way it would add up to 205. And it's kind of nice actually that I chose to put it here because this is going to be negative 0.91 comma negative 0.42, some nice symmetry. It's sine value y, and then r is 1. There you go. So we have three left. We have one more in the third quadrant, and I bet you this has a reference angle of 65. So if I think about 245, 245 is 180 plus 65, yep, oh, that's terrible looking, whatever. Okay, so that would make 245. So 245 has a reference angle of 65 because if I subtract 180 from 245, I would get 65. And again, I use the symmetry. Okay, so now y over r. Right, and I have two left. Both of these fall in the third quadrant. So let's kind of think for a second, or the fourth quadrant. So 295 would be 270 and then an additional little 25 bit. So I'm gonna put that guy here. Cause see, ready? 90, 180, 270, and 270 plus 25 would make 295. Now I wanna be super clear. This is not the reference angle. No three. I'm just going to erase this 0 0.45. 42. The reference angle falls between the terminal ray and the x-axis. So here is my reference angle of 65. And I use the symmetry. Positive 0.42, negative 0.91. Means that the sine is negative 0.91. All right, one more to go, sine of 335. So I'll draw it over here. So 0, 90, 180, 270, plus an additional 65. So it'll be like, oh, I'm gonna put it here. That should line up, yeah. Okay, so then this whole, that whole angle from here going all from here going all the way around to here is 235 is 335 and the reference angle now even though i added another little 65 here remember that is not the reference angle reference angle is between the terminal ray and the x axis is 25 so that's going to be positive 0.91 negative 0.42 Sine is y over r, so my last sine value is going to be negative 0.42 divided by 1. So hopefully that helps you find the values of sine um, using the symmetry of the circle. If you turn the page and you look at the back that you are also expected to do for homework, it is really, really, really similar. And hopefully this will be a piece of cake. <laughs>